I'm Judy Smith, and I graduated in 1978 with an MDiv. And I'm Ron Smith, and I also graduated in 1978 with a Master of Divinity. Uh, the background of the School of Biblical Studies, uh, the acronym is, is SBS, uh, in Youth of the Mission actually began in 1977 when the founder of our mission, Lauren Cunningham, invited Dr. Earl Morey, who was pastor of St. Giles Presbyterian Church in Richmond, Virginia, to uh, start the school in Youth of the Mission. In 1980, Judy and I went and became a part of Youth of the Mission. And we joined what is kind of the entryway or the doorway into Youth with the Mission, which is called the Discipleship Training School. And during that particular endeavor, uh, Dr. Morey called Lauren and said that I was the person who uh, could kind of take it in 1981 in Kona and start it. So there had been people who had come to us. Oh, one of them was a, a prominent board member. Gordon Conwell, who had come to us and, and was really encouraging us to strengthen uh, the biblical background of some of the things that we were learning and teaching in the mission. The SBS basically follows an inductive Bible study method which many parachurch and Bible colleges and seminaries use, uh, which came really out of uh, the Biblical Seminary of New York in 1900, followed by Princeton Seminary in the 1940s and 50s. We go through the whole content of the Bible inductively making charts of uh, the whole Bible. And from that background, Drs. Tom and Donna Petter uh, came to be uh, professors at Gordon-Conwell Seminary. The Discipleship Training School, or DTS, is the entry program. So it's uh, three months in the classroom and about two months of an overseas outreach. I would say it focuses uh, a lot on character development um, as well as some Bible. Uh, understanding of missions and understanding of evangelism. We have a classic thing in YWAM where we understand the Father Heart of God. So there's a lot, some healing that goes on in people's lives. So it's our entry level program. Everybody on staff has done a DTS. So even though we were seminary graduates, we went to YWAM, we did a discipleship training school. And it was amazing, it was a great experience. The DTS is the entry level program uh, and you have that as a prerequisite in most cases for an SBS. Though we have taken pastors into the School of Biblical Studies who have not done a DTS, and uh, the SBS is nine months of Bible. And I suppose if we were pressed to the wall, uh, we would say that the School of Biblical Studies, although we are in a missions organization and have a real missions focus for the whole world, I would say we really have more of a Reformation focus, and that is that we want to see the whole of the Word of God reach the whole of all the cultures of the world, both vocationally and ethnically. At Gordon Conwell uh, takes our students, if they've done a DTS, and they've done a School of Biblical Studies, and they've done a minimum of two years on staff of a school of biblical studies. It could be anyone we have in the world. They have probably the equivalent of an AA, and so they come in without an undergraduate degree into your, into Gordon Conwell's graduate program. So, and they have to have a reference, a good reference, specifically from this man. And uh, our agreement with them, that's what you do, and our agreement with them is when they finish Gordon Conwell, they'll come back to the School of Biblical Studies for two more years uh, and invest back in. And it's the seminary's vision to see greater biblical training uh, come to the mission field. From our side, from the SBS side, we just want to be sure we keep sending you good students. As long as we can keep doing that, it's all going to be fun.